welcome to genuine Cora guys in this video I will show you some of the basics features of scene builder and also how to make some rich user interfaces for your JavaFX application so before starting I would like to suggest you to download the latest version of scene builder which is currently 8.2 from the Gluon website so probably you might have downloaded the scene builder from the Oracle side but this is the latest one so I suggest you to download it from the Gluon Edge headquarters site and I will leave the, leave the link on the description so let us start from the file menu you can see that there is a new option for creating new XML file and if you want to you can use an existing template there are three templates which is an alert template and a basic application template and a complex application template so if you want to make an alert dialog then there is no need of uh, designing an alert box you can use this template and then I'm sorry and then you can change the message uh, by changing it from the vertical box and uh, this message and details can be changed uh, by clicking here details suppose if you want to change it to some kind of error message then error occurred and you can change the message too here so that's about the template for complex and simple application there are two more templates I don't think that will be useful because each UI differs from one another in the uh, in the components used and the size etc so this is a complex UI structure and we will see how to develop a UI from the scratch so the first thing that we have to have is a container as you know we have a number of containers in JavaFX and in this case I am going to use an anchor pane an anchor pane is a great way to start it allows us to anchor object in certain position I will show you that in a moment so the, let us just familiarize with the environment so this is a document section this is the library from where you can get the components any components you want can be selected from this library section and the used components will be present in this document section there is one more section called controller and this can be used to specify the controller Java class currently we are developing only the user interface and not connecting to the controller but once you use this in your program you can actually connect the class or set the name of the class with the package name here in the controller section and this is the property section and there are three uh, options I mean there are three panels one with properties another for layout and another one for core and the property section is used for basic setting basic properties and this layout section is used for aligning the component and the code section is used for handling events and variable name so let's start from the base we have the disable property once you disable this one uh, no one can touch that and I mean it will set the element as disabled this is useful for buttons and other controls and not for containers then we can add some effect like glows and and box blur and etc and I will show you that later then you can connect to a style class let us start by adding a menu option and we'll see what are the available method so I'm going to add a menu bar first you can't add a menu uh, before adding a menu bar at first you have to add a menu bar so I got the menu bar and what I'm going to do is I'm going to the layout section and in this layout section I want to make this menu bar a stretch from here to here and whenever I recess the window I want to increase the size with the window so that can be used uh, that can be said by specifying the anchor pane constraint that means here I want to keep the position zero I mean there is no space between this edge and this menu bar and in this edge also I want to make it zero so now and by setting this position to zero I can make sure that it is perfectly on top and by keeping this position I mean the bottom position as empty you can 
uh, that region will expand instead of the MINOVA. We, you can see how the application looks like when it, uh, once it is compiled by using the show preview in window. So this will be the look and feel. I mean this will how the program will looks like when you run the code and when I expand or when I resize the window it is also getting resized to both sizes. So the menu bar is okay so we set the resize function and then let us have a look into the component so inside menu bar you can add a number of menus so we I, we got a menu for file then edit and then help if you want to delete one you can right click on it and delete one so there is only file and edit and inside that file option there is a method uh, there is a menu item close if you add, want to add one more menu item then you can just uh, search for menu item then you can drag and drop a menu item let's uh, see the preview so in this preview I have added a close and unspecified action and the string I mean this is showing as unspecified action and the title can be set from the properties panel so I am going to do that in the menu item I am going to set the properties to exit there is already a close I am just gi giving a name for demonstration so we got an exit function and there are you can also apply some styles and once you set it as disable let's see what will happen I'm going to the preview section and show preview in window and you can see that it is showing as non clickable I mean you can't click on that item once it is disabled and let's have a look into layout there is no layout since we are using the menu bar there is a code section and in this code section you can actually reference the variable from the code by giving an ID suppose I want to reference it as a variable called exit then I can give a name exit and I can give the action I mean the own action I know you are already familiar with that I mean if I give exit program here then once you click on this menu item the exit program will be called so the one more interesting thing that is available in the scene builder is the show sampler control skeleton from the view option once I click on this it will automatically create a Java FX controller for this fxml file so I gave the name exit and there is a menu item or a class and there is a variable exit and the action exit program function is already created all that I have to do is to copy and paste this into my Java code so that's about the menu and the next thing I want to add is a horizontal split I mean I need a split pane and there is for splitting in the horizontal direction and vertical direction I have horizontal and vertical split pane and in this case I am going to use a split pane so I am going to drag and drop it right here and I want to make this one fit with the parent which means the anger pane so I want to make it uh, extend to this portion and this portion and whenever I resize the window I want to resize the split pane too and this can be achieved by right clicking on it and I mean you have to right click here in the split pane and you can use the function fit to parent so now it is fit to parent but one problem that arises is the we ha we our menu bar is now invisible it's gone because the split pane will is covering the area of menu bar too and that can be removed uh, by setting the angle pane constraint so instead of using zero displacement from the top I am going to use a 28 or 30 and you can see that we got our menu bar back so that's about adding the split pane now we got a split pane and I am going to set the divider position to something like here you can uh, you can set the divider position to I mean if you want to set that this portion as 30 percentage and this as 70 percentage you can give it as 0 0.30 then that will be 30 percentage and 70 percentage also you can change the orientation from here that is it is vertical and you can set to horizontal etc etc so that's about the split pane and next thing I am going to do what I'm going to do is to add a list view so I'm going to select a list view 
and I'm going to add into this anger pane and you can see that it is added to this anger pane uh, the split pane consists of two anger pane which one is this one and this one and inside this anger pane I have added a list view in this case also I want to make it to fit with the parent so I have done that and one more interesting thing that is available in uh, the scene builder is the show sample data by clicking it the scene builder will inflate this component or control with a sample data so there is a sample data so we can see how it will look like once you add a dat real data into it so I'm going to give, uh, look for a preview and I got a very beautiful list view and the list view is <coughs> Uh, and the list view contains a number of items so that's that's fine that's pretty good and let's do something more interesting so if you want to add some extra pop-up control or something like that I mean when you right click on this you want to show some menu then that can be added from the modify section so I have selected the list view and I am going to add a pop-up control so I am going to add a context menu and so when I right click on the item I mean on the list view I will get a menu item for specified action so instead of specific action I am going to uh, set the text to show so whenever the user right click on it there will be a window called show this is very useful for developing uh, 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 very interactive user interfaces so next thing I'm going to add is uh, I'm going to do is to add another split pane so I'm going to use a horizontal split pane this time so I'm going and I'm going to paste here just like before I'm going to make it to fit with the parent so it is now fit and let's see how we can add an image view an image view is used for displaying an image image so inside this the split pane contains two anger pane just like before and I'm going to add an image view right here so I got an image view inside this anger pane and I am going to use the uh, I am going to use the computer size and by calling this computer use computer size it will automatically fit with the available region so I'm going to do that so image view there is one more problem that is we have in selected an image to show so I'm going to set the image that to be displayed inside this image view by going to the properties and the image section I'm going to select the image so inside the pictures there is a material design dot jpeg file available and i am i have selected that and i am going to co drag and drop this image view into this anger pane i'm sorry for that i'm going to paste it right here so so the image view is now fit inside the anger pane let's run the uh, uh, let's look for a preview and when I change the size of this window my image view is all is also changing so that's working so that's about the image view and another interesting thing that's available in Java FX is definitely the chart and I'm going to add an area chart here so I'm going to drag and drop an area chart here and it is out of bound and I am going to use the fit to parent method in order to make it fit with the parent so we got a list view we got an image view and we got an area chart and let's uh, let's uh, we can set the title of the chart by setting the title option in the property section and there are a number of options that is related to the area chart in Java FX which changes from component to component and another one is the Java FX CSS you can associate a CSS file for a particular component by selecting a CSS from here in the in my case I am going to add a CSS file by clicking on this plus button and I have a sample CSS which is downloaded from the ja uh, from the Oracle documentation and I am going to use that so when I added that style uh, my the look and feel of the chart changed and 
there is, there are uh, this ch uh, style class i mean the css contains a number of style classes as you know and you if you want to specify a particular style class from a uh, list of classes you can do that here and this can be used for setting custom CSS styles. So, I mean, if you want to set uh, the background color of certain element, then you can set that by pressing here FX background color. I, I mean, in this case, the FX background color is not related, is not applicable to the area chart, but I am going to set that anyway. So, FX background color FF. If you want to set the background color of an element as white, then you can set that right here. It is hasn't changed because that is not applicable for this area chart at in this case. So, I am going to remove that. So that's about the uh, JavaFX CSS option and there is a blend mode definitely there is a blend mode you can change this code of course uh, but you can if you want to make uh, I mean if you want to change the blending of the image view to something like difference you can do that right here in order to make some cool effects so that's about the image view and let's see how we can add some effects to the to any component so in this case I am going to add some blur effect to the chart and that can be done by uh, selecting this effect button and inside that effect button these are the effects that are available in Java FX and this can also be accessed from not arrange not window I mean it was available set effect and inside this modify option you can also access this effect Gaussian blur drop shadow displacement map and I'm going to add it right from here and inside that I am going to add a Gaussian blur so the blur is now is in effect and you can change the radius of the blur I mean for any effect you can make the uh, modification or set the parameter right inside from the scene builder so that's about it and just like before you can set the layout parameters and this one is used for making rotate. Suppose if you want to rotate this chart uh, by some degree like 45 degree then you can set that angle right here. So it is now rotated to 45 degree. Instead of specifying angle you can use the circle for, drag, uh, for making the rotation angle by using the mouse and I'm going to set that to zero then you can set the translate suppose you want this one 10 pixels away from the edge by translating then you can use that 10 if you want to make it 100 then that's 100 so the translate is useful for that and if you want to scale the component suppose if you want to scale the chart to 1.5 times the initial size in x-axis and also y-axis then you can do that right from here so that's the use of the transformation section and just like before the code section can be used to access the components from the Java FX controller class suppose I am going to give the name and chart and whenever the mouse is clicked whenever someone clicks with the mouse on this chart I want to call a function called uh, close I mean show percentage in that case I'm going to set that to on mouse click to show percentage and by having a look into the controller section you can see that the code is already generated and all that you have to do is to copy and paste this control scale uh, controller for your Java program so I hope you understood the basics of Java FX in builder and let me know your comments in the comment section thanks for watching this video subscribe for more cool videos